Hello everyone, welcome to the importance of mentoring for your tech career. Um, today, it's, today is the National Mentoring Day and we thought it wise to celebrate um, our mentors, um, people, persons who have been imparting knowledge one way or another through mentoring. Um, so it's, it's really a very a very important skill to have. Um, not many people can teach, can transfer knowledge to others. So welcome to the give it, we'll be doing having an AMA session and we'll also um, hear our speakers talk about their journey. Um, how we can learn from them, how, how it has been for them, and how mentoring has helped them in their journey. So we'll get started. So we have a, um, three speakers who will be talking about their journey um, in the course of um, in the course of acquiring maybe mentorship or how they have um, um how their journey went so we hear from them firsthand and you get to you get to get motivation from them so i'll introduce our first speaker i'll introduce our first speaker by name um brian brian is a visual designer brian is a visual designer design instructor at TechRig. He's also a brand identity designer, a strategist, a UI designer at foodshare.ng. Also our second speaker, Shegun Francis, is a Google associate, Android developer, and mentor with three years of relevant work experience. He's passionate and detail-oriented with excellent communication skills as he has also a good understanding of the Android SDK and mobile application development life cycle. He is a strong engineering professional with a nano degree focused in Android development from Audacity. Our third speaker is Odinaka Joy. She is a software engineer with specialization in full stack web development. She loves to speak and write about tech and the web. Hence, she spends her time uploading quality content to her blog Odinaka Joy is extremely passionate about education and technology, and she drives the inclusion of kids and women in tech. So, um, Techrity um, is the body, is the organization that organized this um, um, event as part of our celebration of International Mentoring Day. We have our various programs, um, such as the Kickstart program, the Mentorship program, and the Build for Social Good. Last two months, we rounded up our technical mentorship program for 2021, and um, we saw projects of people who have been mentored. With the they demo their project along, alongside with their mentors. So yeah, um, we are working heavily um, to promote um, uh, the knowledge transfer skill in Africa because it's not some it's not an easy thing to do to be able to translate what is inside your head to another person. So I um, call on Brian Benibo um, to share with us his experience. How has it been like for you, Brian? Um, how, when did you start? Um, what are the challenges you faced? Just take us through your, um, your journey in five minutes. Thank you. OK. Um, good, good evening, everybody. Um, so um, first of all, I want to say thank you for I'm thanking Techrity and uh, I want to say for the opportunity for allowing me to do this, giving me the opportunity to mentor people who are ready to take the part, um, take the journey to their to their uh, journey in their career, be it design, be it um, coding, whatever their interest is. So I really, really do appreciate the opportunity. So. Um, I would like to ask, just so I'm sure, I am supposed to share my mentorship, how, how I'm able to mentor people, right? Okay, please do. Please, please. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so um, 
the need for me to mentor people or why why I do this is because for everything I do, I like to understand why first before I start doing. So, uh, real quick, I'm going to tell you a little, a little story about myself to let you know where my passion for mentoring comes from. Um, I was born in Lagos. I grew up in Lagos. Then I moved to um, Butakot for university and all of that. So uh, I did mechanical engineering in school. So after school, I didn't find any job in engineering. And I had a friend at the time who was in, who was my roommate. He was in WordPress. Um, he was a WordPress developer. So I decided to start learning WordPress. I was learning WordPress. I learned that people need to start doing their designs and graphics and all of that, right? So I jumped into graphic design. Learning graphic design on my own through YouTube and all necessary blogs and articles that I can use, it wasn't enough for me. I needed someone who has gone the path, which is where I had to reach out to um, some persons in Lagos. Then I met, I don't know if you guys know them, there's a company called Fort Canvas in Lagos. Fort Canvas is a brand identity design company. So I reached out to these people and two of their their founders met to me. I moved I had to move to Lagos. There my mentorship started. So they started mentoring me. So if not for them, I won't be here because them they are able to share with me first hand experiences that they have gone through, why they did what they did, what they did and how they did it. You know, because what you you won't get in uh, teaching yourself is why things are done. You just do it because you see it is done on YouTube. You don't know the processes. You just do it because it is done and you know how to do it. But when there's need for experience, you need someone who has gone there and done it, right? So these people mentored me and directed me in the path to make the right decisions on how to do and what to do. So that day, I noticed that, wow, people will always need someone to mentor them. So my, as my design career continued into, I became a brand identity designer, started doing UI UX, got jobs here and there. I tell you, okay, I will find opportunity to to share my knowledge with people and mentor them. So one day I noticed that in, te in tech creek, they don't have design. They only have other causes, coding, animation, and all. I'm like, ah, design is the cause that is something that everyone should know. Even though you're not a designer, you just have a little bit of idea, so right, to aid your work as a developer or as a software engineer on, on, and the likes, right? So I said, okay, I walked up to them and I said that I pre prepared a proposal that I should start teaching. Then that's where my teaching and mentoring situation starts. So from then till now, and it's about 2000, and it's 2020, before the COVID-19 period, before the COVID came in. So from 2020 till now, I've been mentoring people online. I have a, I have a design community that I met some pe mentor people, and a couple of persons there have grown to where they get jobs for themselves. So one of the things I would advise people do is, thank God for technology, is people should always find mentors. Funny enough, even mentors need mentors because there's always room for growth and scaling. I would always advise that wherever you are, look for someone who is way ahead of you, ask them for mentorship. So mentorship, most of the times, can be up to down and sideways. It's not the most, sometimes you may even need someone to mentor you as per attitude and behavior to work. Sometimes our challenges may be work ethics. This skill or this, pro this process or this idea you want to achieve, you could achieve it because your work ethic is different. You probably do not have the correct work ethic to achieve that goal. So if you have someone who mentor you who has done that work before, they will tell you, ah, listen, for you to do well here, you have to spend like two hours of work every day. Meanwhile, your own work ethic is like one hour of work. That way you won't be able to do much. But because of someone else's experience, you'll be able to improve yourself, learn what needs to be learned. So I always advise that people should get mentors to mentor them from up to down, meaning get someone that's better than you, that is way ahead of you, and also get someone who is close to you, who is at your level, you know, to see that, okay, this person is in my level. What are they doing differently? Why, why is their work better? You know, you see the attitude to work. You see their passion. You see their energy. And see what you can learn from them. Okay. So, uh, Thank you, yeah. Ryan. Um, I'll hold you up for a while while we take um, Shagun, Francis. Um, I like one point you, um, you raised, which is... Um, getting mentors close to you. Um, some people, you find out that their mentor is Elon Musk. 
I wonder how that's <laughs> possible. So it's very important you get mentors that are close to you, who you can easily access. So let's take Jago Francis, and he will talk about what he does, um, his process, his journey so far, how, what challenges he faced in five minutes. Thank you. Go ahead, Jago. Good evening, everyone. I hope you can hear me. Okay. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Take Fifty, for this opportunity. My name is Shegun Francis. I am an Android developer. I started tech generally in um, 2016. That was my first exposure to tech. Now, something happened. I, after the initial exposure, I was into web development. But along the line, I stopped. I, I lost interest in tech entirely. And it was not because I didn't know it. It was just because I didn't have a mentor. I didn't have anyone that could actually direct me on what to do. But then another opportunity came in 2017, I think, where I met the likes of Gino. I'm sure some of you know Gino. And I entered a community where I could easily assess like minds, like my own, where I could assess those that were better than me also. So that was how my journey kicked off fully. And then from then I have been learning and getting better. And I decided that, okay, since I was mentored, why don't I give back to the community? So I joined uh, one of the ALCs, I think from ALC 3.0, I have been a mentor there from 3.0 to 4. I've been mentors, I've been mentoring people on Android development. And then I hired um, a couple of friends. We also did something we call Droid Camp. It's a training for Android developers. So we mentor upcoming developers also. So those are like a summary of what I've done in relation to mentoring and being mentored also. One thing I would like to say is how important it is for you to have a mentor regardless of your level regardless of how good you are you need to have someone that can actually guide you in what you are doing so let's just assume now you try to do something from my experience there was something i did a long time ago i remember it took me all night before i could get it done i was trying to implement a um, google authentication for my project i spent all night trying to get it before I finally got it. I was happy I, I got it, yeah. But then, some weeks later, one of my mentees came with that same issue. And in less than five minutes, he got a solution. So that's what mentorship can do. It's just like learning from people's experiences and then teaching people also from your own experiences. So it's going to make people learn faster. So the goal now is that all the suffering I had to go through, my mentees do not have to go through all those suffering. They should acquire that knowledge faster than I did. That is why mentorship is really, really important. Aside from aside mentorship, I, I am a software engineer at Azenia. That is where I work currently. So I guess that is a good you know, summary for, from my side. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Chegun. Um, thank you. It's really, uh, ALC, uh, please tell the um, participants what ALC means. I don't think they got that. Okay, ALC means Andela Learning Community. It is a program where they teach developers, upcoming developers, on how to code and how to become better. I started as a learner also in ALC. I started from the very first ALC, ALC 1.0. That was when I started as a learner. And now I am a mentor. I've been mentoring for, I think, two years now at ALC. So that's what ALC is. Okay, thank you very much, Chegun. Uh, we'll take Joy Odinaka. Um, Joy, please tell us what you do. Uh, tell, take us through your journey in five minutes. Thank you. Hi. Hi. 
And please, uh, Joy, we can't hear you clearly. If you can speak into your mic. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Okay. okay, I said my name Thank is Dr. Nasar Joy. I said my name is Dr. Nasar Joy. And my John Tech started back in the US, I think, and the course for the course of the US. And so I said it from two friends. So after that course, I really picked up with and I wanted to go on with it. So I did that for about two years back in the US, trying to combine your studies and learn your studies to do for me. I spent class, so everything just went on. So coming back again, the whole thing just actually changed. I didn't know where to start from all of that. So luckily for me, I met um, a friend, and then he told me about um, the same community segment for KFI. So KFI is where I really started my tech journey. So I went back there, then just I started from the class with all of them. So and people taught me, people like them, you know, and like, so they taught me, and, and like, they mentored me, they helped me to like, find my life. At first, I said I was going to make the same life. Um, web development, Android, and I put it in I find it started to specialize in web development. I you get to to I to to I to I I I I Joy, your volume, your your mic is bad. It's somehow low. Um, maybe just speak into the mic. We can't hear you clearly. It's it's a little bit noisy. Okay, Joy, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Not, okay, let's. Can you hear okay. me? Okay, yes, we can. Okay. Sorry yes, for that. Better. Okay, so um. Okay, so after when I got my foot in web development, so I noticed that it is really good to like have someone that guides you through and puts you through to help you explain things. So I just said, okay, let me start helping out with people. And people also were reaching out to me. Okay, Joy, we need this. I started helping out. And then from there, it just started like that. So I, I started enjoying it because it was not just about the, it's not, it was not just about helping people out. It was also about helping yourself. Because as you're teaching, you get to like learn more as well. So method is really good. You teach others and you also get to learn, get to know your strengths, get to know your weaknesses. So I've also mentored on um, platforms like um, ALC as well. I started as a learner, just like Shigo, and then um, graduated to being a mentor. And that's it. So that's my journey so far. Great, great. Um, if we have been following, we will um, pick out one major thing that they have said with regards to um, the importance of mentorship, one which I noted was joining a community, which is very, very, very vital for your growth as a techie. Okay, so um, if you would like to, you can also post your questions to the speakers. You can put um, your questions on the chat, type your questions in the chat or use the Slido link to submit your questions and we'll ask the speakers to answer them. Okay, so what are the tips? How can you find a mentor? Um, they have basically covered those areas. I'll call on Brian. Um, give us um, tips. How do people that want to find mentors because one one important thing, it's not just going on social media, typing on their on their, or maybe somebody you want to be a mentor, typing in their comment section and asking them, oh, I want to be mentored on. You, there's a way to approach people. There's a way you can actually um, approach them and do see you as somebody that they can that that can be mentored. So Brian, what are the tips to help us find a mentor? Okay. Um... Yeah, once again, thank you. One of the tips for you to find a mentor is one, uh, join the community. Like the other speakers have said, you have to join a community of people. So first of all, look for a community of people that do what you do. Then you, you will surely find a mentor there. And now, one of the ways, well, in joining the community, you want to walk up to people or speak to people, right? But if, if you have noticed, mentors are human beings too. 
they have they have they have their busy schedules they have things they do so you don't want to you don't want to always jump on their uh, dm them slide in and start messaging them what i think you should be you should do is to come to them with your with your work don't just go to them and start asking too much question that it won't feel like a serious person but if you go to them like i have been doing this for quite some time these are my challenges can you help that shows value and the part that you are working you know nobody would like to just start sharing ideas for someone who isn't working you work you share ideas and person is not doing anything about it. what you're saying is thank you thank you thank you so if you're going to walk up to somebody or go into their email or something show them your work before you do it when you show them your work they will be able to know that this person is actually working and they actually need help you know showing them your work make people make the people know that you need help then two you should also help people now in this case even though you're not there yet you always have some we don't all have everything that we have you can also help right so if i if if a, if a mentor notices that this person has value has something they can offer is a lot it's very very easy to help them an example is right now i'm i have some men some mentees and interns working for me personally so the one of the ways i choose people that could work for them that can mean that can help mentor is people who already who are good with what you're doing so when i so if you're not doing anything, it will not be a good way for a mentor to win. For you, it won't be good for you to get mentors. You want to have something you are doing. Try some stuff on you. your own. If you have tried over over, it's not working, then you want to get, get a mentor. If you are doing, you're going to look for a mentor. That's not really work. So start whatever you're doing. Put in the work. At, at the end of the day, the mentor is not there to do your work for you. The mentor is there to guide and direct you. So have work that you're doing before you walk up to a mentor or DM a mentor or send them a message or comment on their timeline. Another thing you do is you want to... Thank you very much. Okay. Where? Okay, okay let me just... Yeah, yeah. Hello. Okay. Point. So let's let's um okay, okay. You can round up, yeah. Cool. Okay, let me round up. So I wanted to round up with just one point. You want to check out the people who have the same value as you are as you have before you walk up to them. Share your values with them. What does this mean? It means that okay, uh you want to work if you are if you're looking for a mentor in design, you want to be for people who use the same tools as you, people who are interested in what you're interested in. That we make your communication and working together between the two of you easy. So that's one of those are the points I'm sharing for how to get the MIT. Okay. Okay. So adding to what Brian has said, um, Shagun, do you have any other tip for how to find a mentor? Okay. Yeah. Um, I think I think Brian has covered most of it. You. For someone that wants to find a mentor, you need to have an area in tech that you want to go into. You don't just come and say, oh, I want to go into tech, and then you are looking for a mentor. There are different areas of tech. I believe some some people must have told you that if, well, if not, the person you might see or the first person you might find might tell you that, okay, there are different areas of tech. You have to know what exactly you want to do. So that is that is one point that is very important. A community also, the importance of a community is also one thing that we cannot overestimate here. It's very important for you to be in a community and then look for someone that does what you do. Look for someone that does what you do. And then for you also that is a mentee, you have to be committed. I have seen people come to me and say, I want to learn a particular thing. The first question I ask you is why? A lot of people feel that the question is not important, but it's actually very important. The reason why you determine if you'll be able to commit your time towards learning that thing and towards getting the skill. So you need to have a very good reason for wanting to learn something. You need to have that passion also, because it's not all rosy. 
you get to a point where things are going to be hard for you and stuff. So it is very important. Like I think that's all I have to say concerning that. Okay, thank you very much, Shegun. Um, Joy, any other tips? Yeah, I think you have said it all. But what I would just add is, even if you join the community, the first step to find a mentor is just take your time and study the mentor first of all. Like, meet someone that is approachable. Then when you approach the person, let that person know that you want him or her to mentor mentor you. For instance, someone might just come and ask me a question and answer. And the person will be like, you don't have my time. Don't. And I don't even know that I'm, I don't even know I'm your mentor because you never mentioned it to me. I just thought it was a one-time thing. You get it? Like, let the mentor know, okay, this is why I came. This is what I want. Then you guys can have a schedule and all of that. That's all I can say. Thank you. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you all. So, um, we'll be moving into the um, shout out. Uh, we have said the benefits. The benefits of mentoring has been highlighted in, during uh, during the talk from our speakers. It helps you as a mentor to solidify your skill. Um, it's also a very good skill um, to have the knowledge transfer skill. If um, it's part of soft skills that are required for um, in this present age, the knowledge transfer skill is very important. And there are so many benefits. Um, you get to uh, grow faster in your career because you are basically teaching somebody else. So it, it forces you to boost up yourself in whatever way you can. Um, um, if Do we have any other tips, uh, benefits that, we, that was helpful for us? What it accelerates your career. It accelerates you because uh, when you have a mentor, the mentor um, basically shows you the roadmap. They don't do your work for you, as Brian said. Nobody does your work for you. You have to put in the work. But your mentor shows you the um, roadmap. Uh, okay, I when I was learning, I went through this part, so you won't need to go through this part, like Shegun said. So that's the benefit of um, um, mentoring. So that's what it's we. Uh, that's benefit for you too as a mentee if you can get a mentor because your journey in tech will be faster because you're no you're no longer going from course to course. Because the mentor can show you, okay, uh, since you have taken this course, um, take this um, task, work on this task. From this task, move to the next task. You are not dwelling in the um, in the spirit of tutorials. So that's what a mentor does for you, and it accelerates your career uh, faster. So let's move to the shout outs um, session. Um, let's, if you want to shout out to somebody who has helped you in the course of your journey, we'll, we are posting these shout outs on our Instagram and Facebook Live. Um, the purpose of this is to um, publicly is to appreciate your mentor, somebody who has helped you. They don't need to be here, just um, mention their name and um, we'll tag them on our stories and uh, yeah, they will feel appreciated. So it's very important. Um, you, you might have done it personally in, your, in private, but we want to encourage more and more people to um, take up the knowledge transfer skill, more and more people to be mentors. Um, so let's, uh, if you have someone you want to shout out to, a mentor you want to shout out to, please unmute your mic and speak or you um, put the name and your shout out on the chat. Um, <clears throat> okay. So, um, I I don't think is is he's a mentor directly, but there is someone I want to shout out to. And luckily, he is here today. So, I want to shout out to Mr. Brian. Now, as uh, as a designer and me, I am okay. Let me introduce myself. Sorry about that. My name is Shibuzo, and I'm a front end uh, developer. I develop both on web and mobile. And I'll say, I think we started our journey at about the same time. And okay, no, no, we started uh, before me. So in the journey of getting started, you know, as a front end developer, you get to work a lot with designs and sometimes it gets overwhelming, especially at the beginning stages. I'm sure other developers can, can uh, relate to this. So 
Mr. Brian, in the part that he helped me out, he was always like, help me explain how the UX works and why this part is within the UI and why this color shouldn't go with this, you know, those minor, um, little, little explanations here, here and there actually helped me a lot to get better in understanding why things work, why I do this. And I believe that overall, it also helped to improve my skills and myself as a developer, a front-end developer. So, Mr. Brian, thank you a lot. And I hope that other people will continue to learn from you as well. All right, Chibuza, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate it, Thank you so much. Thank you, Chibuzo, for that um, shout out. And, um, okay, so Brian, do you have who um, you want to give a shout out to? We will be posting this shout out on our IG stories. Please, it's an opportunity for you to thank your mentor publicly. It's not a bad thing. It's it, they will feel appreciated for the work they are putting. Um, so Brian, do you have who you have a, who have mentored you? Mentor, because the mentor also has a mentor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please go ahead. Uh, yeah, very much correct. Uh, every mentor has a mentor, so I like for me. I I can disturb a lot. I can be very passionate. So, uh, we've come a long way. Steve has always been there for me. Uh, uh, you guys know Steve Anthony. Uh, the design, the product designer at uh, Wyans HQ. He has been a very big impact in my life. I have, I have watched him grow. I have watched him improve himself. I have watched him impact others. And me, my me, me speaking from my point of view, he has always impacted me. He has, uh, he has shared ideas with me. There's a time where I, I was moving from from um, graphic design to UI UX. I bombarded him with a lot of questions. I followed him on. We started having classes where. We'll be in tech and we'll use the board and he's going to teach me a lot of things. He's still giving me materials and books. So, uh, Mr. Steve, I really, really, really helped me in my UX journey. Thank you, Mr. Steve. Cool, cool. Um, thank you, Brian. Uh, thanks to Steve also for um, the willingness to share his knowledge. And um, Chegon, uh, please. Give you a shout out to um, somebody who has helped in, in the past who you consider key to your journey, success in your journey. Okay, so I have lots of lots of people I would I would like to mention. I just hope I get enough time to mention them. Um, I have a friend that introduced me to tech initially. His name is TJ. He's he's not in Nigeria. He's he's not he's not even he stayed, he stayed in Lagos then, and he's abroad right now. He was the first person that introduced me to tech. I am forever grateful to that. And then when I, while in Portacot here, I had staff from Gino, uh, Ben, Wisdom. Um, there are so many people at KSI, Owanate, um, Joy. You guys are very, very awesome. And then um while we were going to the hub i had other colleagues i'll call them colleagues because we were going there to learn together they also motivated me with their commitment i i there was no day i would stay at home and not go to the hub because i know that those guys will always be there they were not android developers like me they were into other areas but their com their commitment motivated me people like um, rafael tonye flows David, so so many of them, even Richard. So there are a lot of people. I am very, very grateful that I met all of them. I wish I could thank all of them personally for the positive impact they've made in my life. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for that. It was really emotional. <laughs> uh, Joy, please, can, can you unmute and give a shout out? Okay. Well, uh, I will say shout out to KSI as a whole because like my journey started from there. 
So it's Genome, then, and then it's, mentorship is not even just about the knowledge, it's about people that you can also reach out to when they are stuck. Like, if I have anything technical writing, uh, Ruth is my plug. Anything, even negotiation, Ruth is my plug. So I appreciate that for all those things. Even sometimes even when I'm down, I don't think I just like giving up. People like wisdom and Ken, they are there to encourage me. And then, just like Shegu said, when you are looking around, you'll be like, ah, these people, they, are, they still keep pushing. You look at people like Shegu, um, I can't remember some of their names, like Quick I just see them online. I follow them sometimes. I just look at them, watch them. I said, okay, this part still there. They just keep up that fighting spirit in me. So I appreciate everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much. And Gloria, yeah, shout out to Gloria as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Please, any other person, um, would you like to raise your hand? and um, give you a shout out. Okay, so um, the purpose of this um, event is to celebrate uh, National Mentoring Day. Uh, we want to highlight the, the appreciate our mentors, appreciate persons who have been um, helping others to grow their skills, to ease off the um ease of their journey to make it easier for them so um we have to do a little breakout this is the last session and we'll close for the day so yeah just talk with your talk with your mentor talk with anybody you find in the breakout room ensure that you meet up um you ask them questions who knows you might get a mentor um from this breakout room so we'll be opening the breakout room shortly please um get into the room and um find the um find the mentor ask questions just socialize so yeah i will come back i will come back in five minutes thank you
Hello, good evening. Okay. All right. Uh, um, welcome Shoko. back, everyone. <laughs> you can you can let us be following everybody here so that you can. Yeah, connect. please drop your handles on the chat um, so we can follow each other. Uh, you, can follow your, you can follow where you spoke to in the breakout session. Uh, collaboration, um, meeting people is very important um, for this community we are in. Yeah, please post your Twitter handle, Instagram um, handles on the chats, and uh, we are going to follow you. And also follow everyone who follows you back. So um, we have come to the end of uh, the National Mentoring Day celebration of um, our all mentors. Um, I would like to thank you for uh, taking your time to attend this event at this time. Um, that's why we fixed it, because um, it's Wednesday and people have to go to work. So thank you for attending. Um, we are going to post the recording of this session on YouTube. Uh, so if you aren't following us on YouTube, please follow us on YouTube at Decrity Org. Follow our channel and you will see the, you will see the um, recording once it's up. So uh, follow us on our social media channels too at Security Org, and um, we are also going to be retweeting and all who have mentioned, who have shouted out to their mentors, and um, who are, to those who have helped them, we are going to be posting the, them on our stories and also sharing sharing this shout out with you. So thank you for attending. Importance of mentoring for your tech career as part of the celebration for. Um, National Mentoring Day. Have a great night. Sleep well. Bye. Take care. Congratulations. Naive, you my mentor, my mother. I'm watching. Rough, what up? Man, this guy is up with me. I'm good, yeah. You guys should connect with me on LinkedIn, or not really active like that on Twitter. I think for bands and stuff. Let me shout out to my boss, Natachi. Ah, small band, you know, use Twitter again. Hey, oh, Android Prophets. Come on, things are changed now. Life not easy like that. <laughs> Yeah. Raphael, oh, right. Raphael, send me, send me money now. <laughs> I was almost tempted to ask you how much. Oh God, God you see my, you see my, you see my background. I be abroad, abroad background. I told you about it that time. <laughs> <laughs> good night, though. Uh, good, good night, night guys. Good night.